Hello my friends and welcome to episode 7 of City Skylines. Starting this episode with bad news. Our biofuel bus depot has built burnt down. Not sure when that happened, but we need to basically obviously trigger it on, so I need to get that right. Uh, where are we going? We're going here and we're going with this one. And it's going to cost us all our money to do that. So it's very frustrating because I've sort of plans for this episode um, in reality so what we're going to do is we're just going to hit fast forward we've got demand increasing again and the big one is we've got it increasing for industry that's good because that means we can start our transition of industry across here which I kind of want to get done if I am honest um, and what I'm actually thinking is initially I was going to take this highway and move it what I'm thinking is let's go underneath our industry with it and then we can go on it in both sides which I think will make a lot of sense in the long run but our demand right now is for residential so let's just pause for a second and get our residential zones and just go like I've got an abandoned building here let's get rid of that first um, I want to just get all this covered. Um, let's cover all here actually. And we'll cover this bit as well. And that didn't work out quite as well as I wanted it to in that bit. That will cover off a residential quite nicely, that residential demand. Let's start playing again. Um, and we've got the money coming back in now so I've lost what I was going to try and do because it's gone to night time that's frustrating so what I'm going to need to do is uh, where is it natural resources this area here what I want is a one way road that's going to go through here right along to about here and it's going to ping back and there's going to be lots of one-way roads that come back the way uh, the problem is is I want the cargo station to be about here somewhere so that's the issue that I've got because I can't put that down yet because we're not at 10,000 population obviously which is the concern so what I'm actually going to do is continue on oh we just hit 4,600 though which is nice so what do we get with that we get Set of planning, we get level 4 unique buildings, um, oil and industry, tourism specialisation, free public transport, helicopter priority, heavy traffic ban, encourage biking, ban on sidewalks, bike ban on sidewalks rather, combustion engine ban, no rebuilding, um, fast recovery, Old Town uh, NIMBY I don't know what that is, no noise In the night, leisure specialised areas will close for the night reduces noise pollution caused by leisure, that's good Leisure cars, filter industrial waste um, which is high handy and lots of new roads got a hospital, a tropical garden, fire station, oil power plant, police headquarters, a marina, fishing tours, fishing pier, geez get rental, bus station, uh, that's always handy, riding stable, skate park, beach volleyball court, pier, restaurant, maintenance, depot, uh, Tusami, water, to Tsunami, warning boy, ferry and bus exchange stop, pumping service, weather radar, fire and helicopter depot, geothermal power plant, community pool, intelligence agency, medical laboratory, hospital, fire station and police headquarters again. So that's actually quite handy to know. Uh, so yeah, what I think I'm going to do is I'm actually, because this area is going to get demolished anyway at some point, 
just go with the industry that I've got and go like so. Have it as a base industry. I think that makes a lot of sense to do. I've got garbage issues again. And I want to rebuild this bridge at some point as well. It, we've actually regained a lot of money really, really quickly here. So that's handy. We can just go and repay that loan. Save all that interest payment. Because yeah, we on fast forward for quite a while and we've got demand again but this demand hasn't filled up and what I should really do is switch back to residential and just fill this bit in and I'd like to see this little bit here commercial, this little bit here commercial and this little bit here commercial because I do like to have commercial in residential zones of course we've got a tiny bit of demand there for commercial so yeah what I would like to do at some point is redo this bridge because Let's be honest, this looks god blooming awful. Um, and the other thing I need to do is rename this roundabout here. Uh, one of my favourite YouTubers, Monte Rico Gaming, uh, posted uh, a comment in the last episode. Didn't really ask for it, but he's such a favourite YouTuber of mine that it's a no brainer for me. So we're calling this roundabout the. Monte Roundabout because his name is always sort of main uh, like he likes trains and that's how I came across him was Train Fever I sucked at Train Fever and he done a series called Train Fever 101 uh, this traffic's still backing up here by the way which is a bit of an issue uh, but at least it's not coming on to the actual highway now uh, which is very helpful um, are you not burning down again yet? No, that's good. Hey, what's your issue? You don't have an issue. What? Operating normally. What's this all about? Three overeducated workers. I'm going to guess that's what that issue is. So we don't have jobs for them, basically. That's fine because they'll get better jobs eventually. What I kind of maybe should do is again just go here, go to junctions. I can put a stop sign here, which is actually quite frustrating because I've got traffic lights on. So I want to just put a stop sign on the incoming traffic from this side, and that should then free up all this traffic here because that traffic is only ever coming in this way, and that traffic can't turn right anyway. So I'm not sure why it was all stopping here. So we we're just basically had red lights for no reason. So we'll give priority to cars that are already on the road. Um, which will hopefully not then give priority, make them come round this way and hopefully they'll continue to use this off ramp here because it is much, much quicker. But as you see, as much as it's backing up a little bit, it's a fairly steady flow uh, coming on to the roundabout. Uh, it's not stopping overly long or for overly long periods of time. Uh, actually, I just want to look at the junction and the junctions. Yeah, so no stopping here, no stopping there. Yeah, so it should be fine. There's no stop sign there for whatever reason. They're just stopping. I mean, there's a couple of cars coming here, uh, but the majority that are coming off the highway are going directly there. As we see, a couple of buses using the wrong lane, and that's not ideal because it's slowing the traffic down here ideally you want them crossing over about here somewhere before they actually get down there but again still steady traffic flow I say that it's not working as well as I would hope um, and this third lane is really not in use at all uh, which is rather concerning uh, obviously because it's all coming into here mm. I need to both work out a way of fixing that again traffic here really starting to back up right onto the highway now or almost it will be now actually um, mm. try to think of a fix for this because that's really not ideal I mean could we bring it on here somewhere. Uh, 
Um, is there any actual buildings we could build that's in this section uh, that we can afford? We can afford this statue of shopping, and that's the only one we've got. We've got mods, we've got the Robots Institute. Uh, I'm not actually subscribed to any mods, so I'm surprised that that comes up. Uh, I just wanted to have a little look at that because I do want to put something across the other side. This is really starting to back up a lot now. Hmm. Right, do you know what? We're going to pause and we're going to delete all this road that comes around here completely. And what we're going to do is we're going to build it's an off ramp from here. Just bring it out like so. And I wonder, can I go page down on this? Bring it underneath rather than over the top. Bring it out like that. And hopefully with that, that will then in turn prevent this backing up quite as much because I don't have a huge amount of traffic coming on here. So let's have a look at Monty Roundabout. Highway junctions I want you to stop and give you priority because you're coming off the highway. Um, so let's play and see if that works out slightly better. Uh, traffic backed up a little bit here, but again, it sort of eased itself uh, apart from the police. They were absolutely flying round. Uh, so, yeah, that might have fixed this traffic flow, particularly from this side. And it looks quite nice as well. I have to say, I do like tunnels in this game. And it is nice to see the off ramps working as tunnels. Wasn't sure if they would from looking at some tutorial videos that I've seen. People using highways as tunnels rather than using off ramps. Again, no still backing up here as cars are trying to get off here to go into town, really holding us up. Um, hmm. Hopefully that'll fix itself. Um, and again, cars backing up here as they're coming off. Uh, and cars forcing them to work their way in from here. Um, which is causing issues. In fact, doing this has completely brought, it, brought this roundabout to a standstill. And I'm not really sure why. So maybe because we've got an on-ramp coming too close to... to Off-ramps maybe. I'm not sure, but it's completely backed up. So let me have a look at the road. I want to look at the road, so Monty Roundabout, Highway, Junctions. So we've got, right, let's bring a stop sign in here because right now this is not working. Bring a stop sign in here and here. And then this gives priority. All the traffic is actually on the roundabout. And what we're going to do is then we're going to come away and we'll come back in about say 10 minutes time before the end of the video and have a look at it again uh, there's a man's okay just now how's this coming across over here actually fairly good uh, so we've got ships but we're going to ignore that just now uh, what I do want to do is delete this bridge at some point uh, which in turn actually might help this bit here uh, if I'm honest because if I just don't do highways on this side it might actually help with getting the flow to and from the roundabout a bit better um, so let's pause want to delete you, you, you in fact let's just delete all these highways right up till around the Monte roundabout let's not delete the power lines because that would be embarrassing and no I want to continue to delete because I want to delete on the other side as well I do want to keep it as a highway on the other side because I think that's important um, and what I want to do is just go with a two lane road sorry a large road so 
two lanes on either side and let's actually give it a bus lane as well because I think that would be quite good and what I want to do is just page up, page up and go across like so and that will create a nice steady even bridge and page down on this side so it is even uh, I think Um, yeah that looks even ish because when you page up it it's definitely going up the way so it's going to cost us 20,000 to do this but it should look much much nicer and what I want to do is then bring from here page down and bring it around these pylons along like so and then we want to go down to our medium roads and I want to go one way so we've got one way with a bus lane maybe no so one way and what I want to do is go from here let's get a curved one out out. That didn't work. Out to here. From here. Kind of want it to be curving like that, but it's not going to let me, is it? So just bring it out like so. And curve it in kind of like that and then again just a one-way road uh, nice and simply across here coming in a nice curved angle straight line please uh, I've got to bring it back just a touch because it doesn't like it uh, so back to our straight road and in curved please okay, so it's going to have to be straight-ish uh, then I don't really want to do but it will work and that should work a bit better and then I want to come back into my road manager come off this please uh, and I want to go junctions take the traffic lights off stop sign there and stop sign here and hopefully that will start to free up the traffic on both sides now plus the bridge looks a whole lot nicer um, and what I want to do is come back to this road here by the one with the bus lanes uh, please where is it? it must be bus lane yep and bring it down and page down and down bring it to here and then I want the highway uh, to come from here to here and here to here doesn't really look very nice and what I want to do is actually just upgrade this nope because that makes it look so much nicer and it will keep the residents in these nearby streets much much happier because they are not getting the sound from this anywhere near as much as what they would have been previously so it's just a little bit of money worth spending 
Oh, nope, nope, nope. Let's bring you back down to that. Uh, so hopefully that works nice. Lee. And then it also gives our buses that bus lane, which will give priority to our buses when they are coming across and from. As you can see, our buses only turn left just now. Um, which actually works quite nicely, actually. I quite like the way this has worked out in terms of how it's going to work out. Let's go back to Wilson Boulevard and just make sure junctions and it's not traffic like no that's good news um in honesty and escape there hopefully this will start to treat this with a bit more freedom and as you can see this now backing up onto the highway again on both sides actually uh, so hopefully if we just fast forward See the money come back in. Uh, we've actually got quite a bit of residential demand. Let's go back across here. Let's have a look at our zone coverage. So we've got healthcare there. That's covered in there. So let's put another medical clinic in here. Or can we go with the hospital? No, we can't. We can't afford it. So let's stick a medical clinic in. We went down a bit further. Hmm trying to work out the best place to put this I think we're going to have to wait up and save up for a bit more um, and salvage what we can do want to get this high school out though at some point and I want to have it down here somewhere so if we could put it in you know there um, we've actually not got enough money we're not far off it so if we could put it in here it would really help us out a lot um, so we're going to just save up that little bit of some money and let's get uh, what's our electric, electricity doing um, I wonder if we can just go for a residential zone and just go say round here round there completely and along here and there and there and along here right along here right along here and then right along here along here along here just to spread this electricity zone really in all honesty so that we can get a high school down here and hopefully they'll build the way we've put that down and we've got the I want to get this. I want to put an off ramp back down here, but I don't think we can do that now. Yeah, I think that's been modified just a little bit too much. Yeah, I mean, maybe we could get a one way road that comes from this. So go with this one. I want to just bring you out from here and go from here. Page down and go from here. Yeah, page down, page down. Nope. No, stop slope too steep. So I'm trying to think the best way to do this. So if we maybe come off the highway, say oh, can't even work it out. I want to Come from the bridge, say here, as a one way road, and then hopefully that will allow our buses to come down here just to speed up a bit of time of them going all the way right round uh, to get back into the 
industrial zones, uh, the residential zone rather. And what would be nice to do is then just go with the green and across like so. We've now got enough money for that high school while we're busy worrying about it. So we've got the high school, the high school, um, or we've got the Institute of Arts thing, uh, which we can't actually put down because we've got this road here. So I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll just get rid of this road because I kind of want to use this. Um, and we can put it here and let's see what it looks like because it's part of one of the DLCs, I can't remember which one, but it does look absolutely beautiful and it needs electricity, so we've not got the power coming across just yet because we've, um, which is an issue, residentials not wanting to come down at all, we'll actually go with residential here and here try and get some way to get this down quicker and what I need to do in the meantime is just bring a power line from here uh, is there any way to get across this river yep, round like so to here and we can delete that eventually when we're zoning again and this has came down uh, we've got more trash issues though, but that should now help with our education. Uh, what's your issues, guys? Low value land. That's fine by me. Um, and honesty, we've got traffic piling up, backing up everywhere on these off ramps, which is not ideal. So, what I think I need to do is take these stop signs away and make this just a complete traffic like roundabout because that would make more sense maybe um, and see how well that works because it's just not working in all honesty hopefully as a traffic light -like system it will flow just a little bit better um, these two are too close together though Ah, it's poppy, 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 poppy. Wonder if that's maybe the issue. We've just got too many inroads coming in together. Um, hmm. Trying to work out this. Tell you what, we've got some abandoned buildings across here. So where are they? I see them, I see them. I see you, you can go. Any more? Yep, somewhere in here there's one. There you are, and there you are. And I keep everybody happy. So we've got rid of that. And on that very busy round of Monty roundabout note, I'm going to end this episode guys, I know it's not been the greatest episode but we've got the new bridge uh, which looks absolutely stunning compared to the last one, we've got the Creative Institute, sorry the Institute of Creative Arts and we've got new residential areas and we've got money flowing in and we've got all our loans available so next episode i'm not sure what our plan is going to be we'll work that out then obviously all this industrial will need to go at some point as well as all this industrial um i'm not sure why you've got garbage problems but i'll tell you what we'll do before we finish this episode let's go with garbage let's bring in another recycling center generation plant and floating garbage collector um, is next on the list but we'll try and get more rubbish collected because clearly we're not collecting enough right now um, mm, travel light system I'm hoping it kind of works but I mean we're not backing onto the motor the highway now on either side 
so I guess I can call that a win. We're not backing up on anywhere really too much. It's just the roundabout's very busy, which I suppose goes with the territorial of. It's a highway to highway connection, it's the centre of town connection, and it's an industrial estate connection as well. Uh, I'm just curious to see are any of our bus lines still working because I always forget to check that. So here's a bus. It's on line two. Right. They are indeed using their bus lines as well as emergency services. So that is great stuff. Good to see that. And as I said, on that note, guys, I am going to end this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Hit like if you enjoyed this episode. Hit subscribe if you want to see more of this type of content. And I'll hopefully catch you all next time.